It is later, or actually late in the evening, uh, Tuesday, October 26th, and I just received an emergency phone call for a uh, virus-infected computer. It's a client of mine that runs a um, landscaping business, and uh, this is her home computer. And as you can see, it is infected with the antivirus 2010. These are, this is a bogus scanner reporting bogus scan results and infections where the infection itself is this particular program. And um, I'm just here remotely connected uh, to her system. And uh, I'm just at the point where I'm logging into my uh, FTP server and downloading the necessary tools that I'll need to clean this sucker up. So um, that's where I'm at. And let's see if we can bring up, for the usual routine, the system specs here. There we go. So it is an Inspiron 1545 laptop, 64-bit, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, it is a little bit sluggish, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a dual-core 2.16 gigahertz, and we've got this antivirus screen coming up wanting our attention here. And uh, there we go. We're going to clean this guy up. It's about, uh, what is it? Uh, about 9.28 p.m. It's kind of blurry. Not sure if you can see it. Maybe off of my laptop you can't hear. But uh, yeah, we'll get this thing cleaned up. There's that antivirus 2010. Right, well, I've got it to the point where it is um, uh, quiet enough for me to download the security software I need. I've just downloaded the SpyBot Search and Destroy software, and I am just about to install it here. Uh, notice there aren't any more antivirus 2010 pop-ups coming up here, so they also display the main processes. It, it may come up once or twice here uh, uh, remotely, but um, on a remote basis, but uh, it's uh, to a point where I can at least do some work. So uh, that, I consider that my first phase being complete. So now the second phase is actually doing the, the main cleanup. So here's the SpyBot software being installed. I'm still booted up in safe mode, uh, not in safe mode, in normal mode, but and, and I don't see any problems just yet in me performing my tasks in regular mode. If I run into a lot of problems, then I try to resort to boot up in safe mode, but at this point it looks like it's okay, and uh, I will resume again once I um, complete these scans here and wrap things up. All right. Okay, let's uh, connect back here. Looks like the SpyBot scan is complete. Let me maximize the screen here. And it did find a few notable items. Um, let's see. Among those were uh, virtualmond.sdn, win32.binker. Uh, and it's a grand total. It's, I mean, it's hard to see there, but it's a grand total of 119 suspected virus uh, Trojan infected files, a spyware type entries, adware items. So at this point, we hit fix selected problems, confirm, and it goes in and attempts to remove it all. Okay, Spybot was able to fix most of them, denoted with the green check marks, but there's two categories that it couldn't. And usually, uh, this would happen because we are not in safe mode and there were some files that just could not remove while in normal mode. And that's okay. Um, what I will do is restart it and do another scan with uh, malware bytes, um, anti-malware, and that will usually get rid of the remaining items. But the, uh, the core threat is uh, most likely removed and shouldn't bother us any longer. So at this point I'm going to reboot and continue with the uh, next scan just for completeness. Well, I've just restarted the computer, and looks like it boots up into a ThinkPoint logo, world's leading security solution. So what I'm going to do is bypass the screen. And um, let's see, presentation settings.exe seems to be what it might be. I'm going to close this off. And then there's a hotfix.exe. 
Okay, and that seems to remove it. So this hotfix.exe is our culprit here, or maybe our remaining little quirkiness, uh, goofy program. I'm going to run up the Explorer manually so that we can get into the proper desktop uh, startup here. Let's see what we've got opening up in the background. Bye bomb. And we'll actually cancel the scan. We don't need to um, for it to come up on boot up here. There we go. We've got some of the icons going up. Bring it up to full screen here. There we go. With a little bit of digging around, I was able to locate the act this actual hotfix.exe file, and it looks like it hides itself within the um, the app data roaming folder within the user profiles uh, folder. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the sucker and get rid of it here. We'll say delete. Let's see if it lets us delete it here. Okay, there it goes. It's gone. And uh, before I actually run the malware bytes, I'm going to go ahead and run um, the set fraud fix utilities really quick. I was having a little bit of trouble initially running, going through the entire process, and I'm going to go through it now here. 2.4.23, and we'll run this up. And there we go. So once this runs through its motions, I'm going to bring up the malware bytes, and uh, we'll be all set. Looks like um, whatever virus is in there just abruptly closed the uh, the spit fraud fix uh, process. So that uh, tells me I might as well just jump through and run the scanner for the the malware bytes and just get that over with first. And um, let's go ahead and get that going here. Malware by malware. I usually like to do a right click and run at the administrator just to make sure that we're running it with uh, admin privileges. Because I know on Vista and Windows 7 machines, if you simply just double click and run it, especially with the case of Spybot Search and Destroy, it will run the program in normal. Uh, within normal uh, user privileges and you aren't able to uh, perform functions that would properly scan or remove uh, the objects required from your system. So there goes the malware byte to starting up the scan. So next video we'll report the results. Oh, it's well into the uh, spyware scan. Malware bytes is currently uh, tagging 20 objects infected. So we are still waiting for the scan to complete. And that's where we're at. The malware byte scan is complete. And I've just brought up the results screen, and it looks like it has found upwards of 26 additional items that um, is uh, suspicious and related to spyware, scareware, trojans, viruses. Uh, let's see, program data. A lot of these are suspicious items there. So set up play sushi. All righty. Uh, there we go. We're just going to go ahead and hit Remove Selected. And uh, once it gives us the confirmation, there's the uh, scan activity log. And let's see here. All right. All selected items have been removed successfully. Great. And it's going to restart. We're not going to save it, and then it's going to go down here. Windows Vista is shutting down, and there, it disconnected me. All right, well, the next time it comes up, we'll confirm everything is nice and peachy. We're booting back up. Just got past the welcome screen, and um, just indicating, let's bring this up here, indicating the Malwarebytes program to continue at startup. We'll say continue. And there we go. All is quiet. We're back to our very cluttered desktop screen. And uh, the last item here is to install a good antivirus software product. 
I did not see, at least not running in the taskbar or the system tray, an antivirus software installed. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going and wrap up this appointment. Fresh copy of Panda Antivirus installed, and everything is good to go. And um, it's got Log Me In installed, so I can perform any future uh, minor wrap ups too. So we're all done here. Time to disconnect, and I will inform the client that I'm done. It's uh, late in the night already, it's close to about uh, 12.45 in the morning. So I'll just uh, send her an email, let her know that I'm done.